Are you tired of your text looking boring in DaVinci Resolve? If you are, then you're in the right place, because in this video I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to spice up your text and make it look better, more professional, and more exciting for your viewers. We do need a background so that our text shows up better. We're going to be using this clip of the Michigan sky during fall. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We're going to be using this clip of the Michigan sky during fall. Doesn't look too much different, but hey, you know, at least this one has trees. First thing that we're going to do is jump into Fusion. We're going to go ahead and space these out a little bit. Drag, there we go. Drag that one over there. And we're going to put a merge between them by clicking on this little merge button and then shift dragging into this line or you can break the line and then drag your output to the input but it's way easier and faster if you just hold shift drag it into the line now that we have our merge node ready to go we're going to go ahead and drop in our first text node we're going to go ahead and drag that text output into our merge and the green means that it will show up on top of whatever the yellow line is so that is exactly what we want if yours shows up the other way for some reason just go ahead hit Control T and it will flip them. Now with our tech node selected we're gonna go ahead and type text in our little style the text box over here. To start with let's go ahead and click on text so that whatever we add now adds in in sequence. You'll see what I mean in a second here. Shift spacebar to open up the select tool menu and we are going to go ahead and type in TV. There are lots of cool effects that you can do with this TV node. So we're going to reduce the number of scan lines to zero and you'll see that our text looks pretty normal. I'm going to increase the size so that this is easier to see. If we increase the scan lines, you'll see that they get finer and finer on our piece of text. So we're going to go with something like this just so that we can have our text look a little bit textured and then we're going to go ahead and skew it and now that our text has these scan lines we can go ahead and add in a few other things and you'll notice that every control here in the TV node is keyframeable. So we're going to increase our amplitude which is going to make it look wavier and then what we're going to do now is get to the beginning of our clip right here. We're going to make a keyframe for our frequencies and now that you have that keyframe set we're going to move forward to say 10 in this case and we will change that frequency to be a little bit lower and you'll see now that if we watch that back we have some super wiggly text and if you want it to end being straight you can go ahead and drag that frequency all the way down and it will end being straight so you see it slows down there because we have a much further distance between our keyframes and that is a great way especially when combined with something like like a VHS overlay something like that this is a great way to make your text look a little bit better with only one additional node if we want to go a little bit further with this we can add in now a soft glow and the soft glow is going to give our text a soft glow if you can believe that so we have all of these different controls here for soft glow our threshold effect is going to pick up like the luminance level that is actually being glowed if we increase that threshold all the way up the only things in this image are going to be those white lines those are going to be the only thing showing up for this glow and the gain increases the brightness or decreases the brightness depending on which way you go so we'll make it a little bit brighter and our glow size affects like the feather region of our glow these two things together right here TV and soft glow make a very nice looking piece of text and you can put this on a solid color background you can put this over video you can really put it wherever but if we check it out now that it's on our video here just watch that you can see it wiggling the videos playing behind it you can see through it it looks much better than if you just had a plain white text nobody's trying real hard to get that look this is a little bit of a step up next up we're gonna put some fast noise in here and fast noise is actually useful for a lot of different things we're not gonna add the fast noise texture that's for 3d we're gonna add it for just fast noise and this is actually very useful for many different things so in this case you can see that you can still see our main video but our fast noise here is acting as like a background to separate our text from that main video so we can affect the detail level of our fast noise the contrast of it so 
You can affect how much of it shows up versus how much doesn't. You can change the brightness of your fast noise if you just want it to be a little bit there, but not overpowering. Change the scale of the actual noise itself. And you can change the seethe rate, which affects how quickly it moves. So that's a nice way to get your text to pop off of the background, give it a little bit of a distinction. And we only did one extra node. Next up, we're gonna have a tool here that DaVinci actually gives us. So we're gonna go ahead and navigate up to our effects library in the top left corner and then we're going to drop down templates we're going to go to styled text and you have all of these that DaVinci just gives to you that look really good most of the time but the one that we're going to go for right now is our scramble modifier this is a great tool for making your text look pretty cool especially if you're doing something with like a sci-fi type film or something like that you can go ahead and drop this text scramble and then if we watch what happens when we watch this back just without changing anything you see that our text is all over the place just scrambling at the end it turns into what you're actually trying to have so we'll go ahead and grab this text scramble and then we'll go up to modifiers and this input text right here in this modifiers menu is what your text is going to end up being so for our tutorial here we'll just do text again and you can see right here i wrote text but out here it changes to h6 x cube that is what we're going to end up with at the end of this so if we watch this through boo -doo 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 -doo, it eventually is going to change into text you can affect your amount of randomness all the way down from no randomness where it's just your text all the way up to ridiculously random where it doesn't even touch your text until you get to the end right so we'll just turn it up to 0.551 it looks like so if we watch this back you'll see that it's pretty random and then toward the end you start to see a few letters that go where they should like right here we have ext we're going to end up there but if we turn it all the way up it goes away and you're not going to see those letters until you get to the very end. And the last thing we need to talk about with the text scramble is super important. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our spline editor. We're gonna click on our styled text right here, which we have here, and we're going to draw a box over these last two. We're gonna hold shift and we're gonna drag them directly to the left. This is going to, if you look right here and right here, you can watch those move as I drag these. That is going to affect how quickly the code decodes into your final text. So if we go ahead and watch this back, it goes really fast and it turns into the text scrambler animation. So if you need that slower, you drag it to the right, you need it faster, drag it to the left, and the amount and everything is inside of modifiers and tools. Another thing that you should be adding to make your text look more professional is drop shadows. So we'll go ahead and drag this regular text node into this merge node so that we're able to see our text. We're going to type text again. And the way that I found that looks the best for drop shadow is just to go ahead and control C or you can right click copy right here. And then with no nodes selected, we're going to go ahead and paste this back in and we're going to add it directly underneath our text in here. We'll get a merge node automatically. And the green one, again, is going to show up on top. So the one that we want to affect is the bottom one. We're going to go ahead and move that over just a touch. And then we're going to move it down a touch as well. And then we're going to apply some Gaussian blur to it right there. And if our node is selected when we do this, it should just pop right into the line just like that. So with our Gaussian blur, we're gonna go ahead and make the a little blurrier. And then with our text, we're going to change this text color to black. So go ahead and drag that down, press okay. And now we have a drop shadow on our text. We can still do whatever we want to stylize this text. It's always going to have this drop shadow but I wouldn't go changing fonts after you've done it. So make sure your chosen font is the font that you do this with, otherwise your drop shadow will look like the previous font and you don't want that. If you're interested in learning more about DaVinci Resolve and helping me to feed this super cute little pup, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from me coming out in the future. And make sure to check those links in the description down below because I'm gonna be linking a few videos that are gonna help you to get better at using Fusion, which will probably make you more comfortable using these tools that I've shown you today. And you'll eventually start to make really, really nice looking text effects. When it comes to making cool text, you want to know how to use the tools you don't necessarily want to go and copy just one-to-one -one, click 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 
to make your text look cool because then if you ever need to do something like that you're not going to know how it's better to learn the tools and then gain the skills necessary to make your text look better than it is to just copy paste somebody else's text effect into your own video so master these tools get really comfortable with them and start making text that looks really good that does it for today's video i will see you tomorrow for fast fridays Thank you.